Okay, write 3,480,000 in standard form. So when we write a number in standard form, we're writing it as a number times 10 to the power of something. And this number here needs to be between 1 and 10, but it can't equal 10, anything up to 10. Okay, so we're going to write 3,480,000 in standard form. Now we need the digits 3, 4, 8. So I'm going to put 3.48 because that's going to get me those digits and make it between 1 and 10. And how many times would I need to multiply that by 10 in order to make it 3 million? Well, the 3 is currently in the 1s column and we would like it in the millions column. And that is going to be moving all of the numbers over 6 times. Now, to visualize all of those numbers moving is quite tricky, which is why we normally just say, I want the decimal point to be there, and at the minute it is here, and we just picture that decimal point moving, even though it's the numbers that are really moving. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's gonna be 3.48 times 10 to the power of six. We've multiplied it by 10 six times to get 3,480,000. Part B. Write 7.2 times 10 to the power of 4 as an ordinary number. So we know that when we take 7.2, if we times it by 10 once, it becomes 72. Both the 7 and the 2 are moving one column to the left. But it's easier for me to move the decimal point. So I'm going to move the decimal point back 1, 2, 3, 4 times. And it would go here. Fill in those gaps with zeros. So that would be 72,000. Perfect. Question two, write 45,000 in standard form. So we need the digits 4.5. Remember, it has to be between 1 and 10. And we're going to times that by 10 to the power of something. Now, 4.5, the decimal point would need to be there. And at the minute, the decimal point is here. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. All of those numbers would need to move over 4 times. So it's going to be 4.5 times 10 to the power of 4. 6.85 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Now, when we times to the power of minus 3, what we're actually doing is timesing by 1 over 10 to the power of 3. And that's going to actually have the effect of dividing by 10, dividing by 10, dividing by 10 three times. So let's take 6.85. When we divide by 10, all of those numbers are going to move one column over to the right, and then again, and then again. But again, we've said it's easier for us to think about moving the decimal point just because it's easier than it is to move all those numbers. So one, two, three, the decimal point is gonna go there and then we need that to be 0 0.00685. So 0 0.00685 would be our answer. Now with the negatives, the number of zeros is going to be the same as the power, but that doesn't always happen when you're going um, when your power is positive. So something to look out for. Okay, question number three. Write now. What have I got here? Six million eight hundred thousand in standard form. So I'm going to write six point eight. And we saw earlier that a million is going to be ten to the power of six. But let's just check. So we can see that the decimal point we would like it to be between the six and the eight. And at the minute it's here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 6.8 times 10 to the power of 6. Part B, work out 7 times 10 to the power of 4 times 3 times 10 to the power of 6. Now, we could write each of these as an actual number. So we could say this is 7,000. No, 70,000. And we could say this is 3 million. And then we could times them together and put it back in standard form. So we would do the 7 times the 3, which would give us 21 times 10, now we can see that I've got 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros here and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros here. So this has been multiplied by 10 to the power of 4, which has given us these four zeros, and times by 10 to the power of 6, which has given us these six zeros. So it's 21 times 10 to the power of 10. And we saw in our other video that when we multiply, we add the powers. But this is not in standard form. What do we need to do to get this in standard form? Well, 21 is not between 1 and 10. So I need to make this bit 2.1. And if I've divided this bit by 10, to keep the number the same overall, we need to times this bit by 10. So I'm going to make it times 10 to the power of 11. So I'm timesing it by an extra 10 to make it equivalent. 2.1 times 10 to the power of 11. Okay, question four. 
write 0.000612. So this is a really, really small number. So for this, we're going to use the negative standard form power. So I've got 6.12, those are my digits, times by 10 to the power of what? Now we would like the decimal point to be here. And at the minute it is here, all of those numbers need to move over one, two, three, four, five times. And because it's getting smaller, it's going to be 6.12 times 10 to the power of minus five. And then for part B, work out. Now we can see that we've got to do eight times three, which is 24, times 10 to the power of seven, because I'm doing 10 squared times by 10 to the power of five. And we know that we can add the powers when we're multiplying, as long as the base numbers are the same. Now that is not in standard form. So I need to change it to be 2.4, because that's between one and 10. If I've made this bit 10 times smaller, I've got to make this bit 10 times bigger to keep the number the same overall. And that becomes 2.4 times 10 to the power of eight. Question number five, write 0.004 in standard form. Now we've just got four as our digit. And we're going to times that by 10 to the power of something. Now four would be here in this column. So hopefully you can see that that's moved over three times. And we've got three zeros, which always happens with a negative. So that's going to be four times 10 to the power of minus three. For the next one, I'm dividing now. So I need to do five divided by two, which is 2.5. And then I need to do 10 to the power of 8 divided by 10 to the power of 6. And we know that when we divide, we take away the powers. So 8 take away 6 is 2. And because it's in standard form, this multiply check uh, stays the same. Even though we're dividing, it's still going to be 2.5 times 10 to the power of 2. Is this part okay for standard form? Yes, it is. We don't need to adjust that one at all. 2.5 uh, sorry, times 10 to the power of 2. Okay, write this number in standard form. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's going to be 3.8 times 10 to the power of 6. We've got 3.8 million again. So 3.8 times 10 to the power of 6 is your answer for that one. Part B, work out 1 times 10 to the power of 2 divided by 5 times 10 to the power of 9. And we're going to do 1 divided by 5. Now we know that 1 divided by 5 is a fifth, which is 0 0.2. So I'm going to write 0 0.2 times 10 to the power of minus 7, because I'm doing 2, take away 9. And we know that when we divide, we take away the powers. Now that's not in standard form, because this part isn't between 1 and 10. So I need to take that and make it 2. For this part, we've multiplied by 10. So to keep the number the same overall, I need to divide this by 10, which means taking 1 away from the power. So I'm going to make it 10 to the power of minus 7. 8 because remember minus 8 is 1 less than minus 7 because we're in the negatives. Quite tricky that one. Okay, question number 7. Put the following numbers in order of size. Start with the smallest number. So this one's already as an ordinary number. So maybe let's make them all as ordinary numbers. 4.6 times 10 to the power of minus 2 means we need to move all the numbers two columns to the right. So that's going to be 0 0.046. 43 is already an, an ordinary number, so we can do, leave that as it is, that's fine. And 41 times 10 to the power of 3, which is not in standard form at the minute, because we've got 41, not 4.1. But we can times that by 10 to the power of 3 by timesing it by 10 three times. So 41 times by 10 would be 410, times by 10 again would be 4,100, and times by 10 again would be 41,000. So we're starting with the smallest number, and we can see that this number here is the smallest, so 0 0.00045. Then I'm going to have this number, and I'm going to write it in the original format, just because it would be easier for the examiner to see that I've got it right. Then I'm going to write this number, which was just 43. And then I'm going to write this number, which was 41 times 10 to the power of 3. Question number 8, write 46.8 times 10 to the power of minus 2 in standard form. So it's not currently, currently in standard form because this part is not between 1 and 10. So I need to make that 4.68 to make it in standard form. I've made that 10 times smaller. So because I've divided that bit by 10, I need to times this part by 10. And that means adding one to the power. So I'm gonna make it times 10 to the power of minus one. Because remember, if you're in the negatives and you're adding one, it's gonna come up towards zero. So there we are, that's my answer for that one.
question number nine, the Earth is 1.475 times 10 to the power of 8 kilometres from the Sun. The Moon is 3.844 times 10 to the power of 6 kilometres from Earth. How many times further is the Sun from Earth than the Moon? Okay, so for this question, we would definitely be allowed a calculator. And to find out how many times further away something is, we're going to do 1.475 times 10 to the power of 8 divided by 3.844 times 10 to the power of 6. We're going to do the big one divided by the small one to find out how many times further away it is. I'm going to use the fraction button in my calculator for this, and I'm going to type 1.475 uh, times 10 to the power of 8 on the numerator, so on the top of the fraction. And then on the denominator, I'm typing 3.844 times 10 to the power of 6. Hitting equals, that gives us 38. 0.3714 and I'm going to make that 3.8 times 10 to the power of 1.